Kelly, it is so good to see you. So I, good to see saying, you. It's been so long, and uh, welcome to our brand new studio. I'm so excited to have you here. It's so bougie here. It is I so bougie. Love it. I love it. New York City. <laughs> well, so many exciting things happening for you. Congratulations on your engagement. Thank you. I'm so Thank thrilled you. for you. I mean, Thank tell you. me everything. How did you meet Scott? The proposal? Give me, give me all the details. Um, so I met, actually met Scott at um, a Ranger game. Okay. Um, I was with my daughter, and he was with his um, nephew, and he came to say hi, which was very, very sweet. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, you know when you just kind of know. I mean, this, my second date with him, I just had a really strong feeling that, you know, he was my person. Mm -hmm. And you know, I mean, I've you know met a lot of really nice guys, and I just never, I never really paid attention mm -hmm. to you know. To them, I mean, I, I mean, I pay attention. To, but I mean, I, it wasn't like, oh, I, gonna, I should get married again, or I mean, I always wanted to get married, sure. but I didn't really felt that that you know the guys that I had met in the past were like, you know, the right candidates, sure. and I just was like, this guy is amazing. Yeah, I mean, what what do you feel like sets him apart from everybody? You know, we have we come from a similar background, okay. uh, so that's really nice. And he's just very, you know, he's a good athlete. Mm -hmm. He's, in, you know, he's obviously very smart. Works in finance, and he just has he's very balanced. Mm -hmm. And you know, I was reading this article the other day that like the best relationships, it was on like, I don't know, it was on my Instagram feed. I always get these wild ones. Sure. The best Instagram feeds is when you have like a, like a solid guy and like a wild, you know, female. And I was like, oh, okay. I guess <laughs> there that's we go. me. <laughs> so tell me about the proposal. He brought you back to like a, a Lake Geneva, yes. Wisconsin, okay. where I grew up as a child. Uh -huh. So I was like driving around all over Lake Geneva, showing him like where I lived and where I learned to sail and water ski and, um, you know all you know all my favorite haunts it was really really fun and uh, yeah he took me uh, he was we went like um, water skiing in the morning and then he's like oh we should go back in the afternoon and so I was like okay he's like I, he's like let's stop at the supermarket and so and get some stuff I'm like okay and he was in a really weird mood and he's usually like very like easygoing like do whatever he was like very like annoyed by little things and I, I was taking pictures of him actually oh, no. in the supermarket <laughs> and the women at the checkout were like oh why are you taking is he famous I was like yes he is famous <laughs> I love that. And he was like so, I mean, even more annoyed. Um, and then we hopped on a boat and um, I was driving him around and um, he was like, go to your favorite spot. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, oh, okay. Well, we were close by. I had been showing him all these massive houses, like the Wrigley home and all these like really incredible homes, Matthew mm -hmm. McConaughey. And, um, and then he was like, show me your favorite spot. So I, sh so I was like, well, this is where I actually swam across the lake. It's a mm -hmm. mile. And, um, but I didn't mean like that was my favorite spot. <laughs> it was just like the closest spot to where like I had a sure, memory. Yeah. And then he was like with playing music, I love Yacht Rock. So mm -hmm. he's like playing Yacht Rocks and all of a sudden he's like, let's change the music. And I'm like, wait, what are you doing? Why are you changing the music? Um, and so then, yeah, he asked me to marry him. And um, I was like, what were you wearing? I'm like, a pink bikini. <laughs> <laughs> I was totally not, totally not prepared. So you had no idea that this was coming? No idea. Yeah. No idea. Mm -hmm. And then we went um, to my one of my favorite haunts when I was a kid. It's, it's called Chuck's by the Sea. Okay. And I was, my friends were like, what are you drinking? I'm like, beer. <laughs> <laughs> it was really fun. It was just really like perfect laid back. Proposal. It was very yeah. real. Mm -hmm. And I think that there's like a lot of these, you know, wedding and um, proposals, which are really, really you know, Instagrammable sure. and beautiful. And I, you know, hats off for people that organize all those um, but it was just like very very genuine yeah. and um, you know my parents would have been really proud so yeah definitely yeah. so now you have a new memory instead of I do. swimming across the mile now it's the proposal spot I know I know I was like is this the right place I guess so <laughs> so dad you, you know how that happens right, though I, I wasn't thinking I was like not thinking sure. about that at all I was like sure here it's great <laughs> but it makes for a great story it really does have you had the two of you talked about marriage is that something that you envisioned I mean like literally after I met him a couple weeks he was just like, this is the kind of ring I'd like you to wear. And I was like, um, that's like, you're really like freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> you're like one step at a time. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he, he like, he really, you know, he was very proactive about yeah. getting engaged mm -hmm. for a long time. 
Well, so. your ring is beautiful. Thank you. Are you uh, is this everything Thank you dreamed of and more? <laughs> I mean, it's just really incredible. It I'm is. not gonna lie. Like, mm -hmm. it's just it's like it's perfect. It's not too big. It's not too small. Mm -hmm. It's like just right. Yeah. Do you feel like you're looking down at it, and does it still feel weird? Like, it I does. can't believe it's on my my hand right now. It does. I'm like I'm like what is? I'm like oh, what is that? Oh, that's my ring. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. I mean, it's obviously you know. My first wedding ring I didn't wear, so mm. this is like a big deal okay. for me to wear a ring. I was, I'm like, still like, wow. Yeah. Are your kids thrilled? They are. Yeah. They're, everyone, everyone is really excited. Mm -hmm. And they're really excited. That's good. So, yeah. wedding planning, are you in the midst of it? Are you going to take it to your time? Yeah, we're, we are like trying to figure out what we're going to do. Okay. Um, so, you know, Scott wants to get married right away, okay. and my kids, my youngest daughter's like, Mom. It takes like six months to order to have a dress made. Right. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, what are we? So it's just fun that they're just very interested. Very interested. In it do you want, want to very be traditional it. or do you want? I think we're gonna do two weddings. Okay. I think we're gonna do like a very very small wedding with nice. just my family and his family, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna do like a big 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 party with all that. of our friends. Mm -hmm. So because I think it's like too much to do like a you know big wedding. Sure. Um, and I wanted to do something that kind of was like different. So that people, when they do get married mm -hmm. and ha or have their second weddings, it's something that's like unusual that people are like that inspire them to like do something that's really, you know, like a really like like you were talking about before, like a great memory yeah, versus definitely. just like this big event. I feel like people get like you wrapped up in the wrapped event. up, mm -hmm. and like I would totally be a bridezilla. So I'm <laughs> like, I'm not sure if that's the really the you know we should do that. Are you <laughs> gonna have a traditional bridal party then, or just the yeah? We'll have a traditional. Okay. Yeah, everything will be traditional. It'll be like micro. Yes. And then we'll have a big party. Well, that's kind of what we're talking about. But my youngest daughter is like not having that. Not having no, it. No. How come? Yeah. I mean, she, I think she wants like you know like doves and like <laughs> <laughs> release the butterflies and things like that. <laughs> Is she already like sending you like dress ideas and things like that? I think she's like planning her own wedding right. through me. <laughs> she's the bridezilla in exactly, all this. Exactly, I love that. exactly. Have you thought about your dress and what you what you want? Um, I don't know. Like we've been talking about like, you know, different designers, like mm -hmm. who I would um, want to, because I want, I mean, I want to wear like a special dress. Yeah. So we have to figure out like who that would be. And I don't really know who that's going to be. It could mm -hmm. be someone like new and upcoming. Coming. It could sure. be someone that I modeled for. I haven't mm -hmm. really decided. Yeah, and I know that you're about to take your engagement photos yes. in Montauk, right? Yes. Why, why pick that spot? I mean, obviously it's beautiful, but does that hold a special meaning to the two of you? Uh, we just spent a lot of time there, mm -hmm. and um, we had a really great um, time there last summer, yeah. and so he was just like, let's do it there. Mm -hmm. And one of my best friends as a photographer, and he's out there as well, so I was like, you know, that's a really great spot to do yeah. it with like good people and just like good vibes and not being like a wedding photo or like an engagement photo, mm -hmm. but just like, you know, a memory of like all my friends. I love that. And that's just really, that's just the core of, you know, I mean, you've known me a long time. Mm -hmm. That's really the core of who I am. It's just like really making these strong connections yeah. and continuing. You know, continue them on. Definitely. Will the Roni ladies be invited? Um, to Thursday? No, oh, to, uh, oh. to the wedding. Oh, not to Thursday. They want to come. They come. Yeah, we can all get. We can all get a picture with Scott. Right. <laughs> we can get a photo with Scott. Um, but yes, the, of course. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be, you know, a lot. I mean, I have a lot of friends um, from sure. all of, from you mm -hmm. know, a lot of the Bravo franchises who are definitely going to yeah. come. Yeah. Have they? Uh, have a lot of the ladies met Scott? I know, uh, I know you and the land are, are very well. Very after um, off the plane, they all mm -hmm. met Scott because okay. he was he was um, waiting for me when we got off the plane. Okay. So they all met him there. Okay. Um, but um, Luann is the one that's really um, spent the most time with yeah, him. Yeah, so. that's great. And yeah. it seems like he just fits so perfectly into your life. I mean, what is what are some fun they, things? Luann that, loves him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were like, I mean, I sit down with Luann. I'm like, okay, you guys can date. I'll <laughs> right, be over yes, here. I'll be like, wheel. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That is so fun. I'll just go weed her garden or something. You guys <laughs> chat, like do whatever. Was he a fan of the show? Did he know you prior to this? I mean, obviously not just the show, I mean, modeling he, things like that. He said, like you know, he said he knew he knew me from television, but mm -hmm. he never, you know, he wasn't like a fan from the show. Sure, has he gone back and watched? Uh, I told him he should. I mean, like, he, I'm like, I'm def I'll do a play-by-play -play of Scary Island for right. Him. It's great television. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can actually eat jelly beans at the same time. <laughs> You know, yeah. I can wear purple, I can cry, we can all do all those things. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> What's it like living together? Is that is that so much fun for you? Um, well, we are moving in together. Are you moving in together? Yeah, okay. so we're looking for an apartment actually today. Oh, wow. So, um, yeah, it's beautiful apartments. Mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm really sure. excited. Yeah, anything that makes you nervous about moving in together? Moving in together. <laughs> moving in together. <laughs> <laughs> 
think moving in together is a big step. Yeah. I think I, it's actually funny that you asked me that because I was like, today I was brushing my teeth and I'm like, do you think he's gonna like move my toothbrush? <laughs> Because yeah. my kids move everything. Sure, yeah. So is he going to be like that? Mm -hmm. I love that. That's so funny. Does yeah. he have kids as well? Yes, he's got three boys. And so how, how has it been blending families and things I, like that? Great. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're all, we've got all these different kids of all these different That's ages. So, so mm -hmm. um, it's going to be, it'll be, yeah, big yeah. family. Yeah. It's just so funny. I was thinking, because my oldest daughter is 25. Mm -hmm. So by the time that she starts having kids, we're going to have like kids, grandkids. It's right. just going to be like nonstop kids. Chris, this is going to be chaos. Yeah. Is it yeah. fun having boys around? Oh, it's so, they're yeah. so cute. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I love boys. I always wanted more kids and uh -huh. they're just so, and they're all different. Yeah. So it's really fun to hang out with them. And mm -hmm. um, and it was just so funny because I'm like, I'm not your stepmom. I'm your super keeks. Like, just remember, <laughs> like you have a super keeks, like uh -huh. your friend that you can, you know, tell anything to and I won't judge you. and. I'll support you in whatever you do. And they're that. like, what's a super cakes? I'm like, you'll know. You'll know. You'll, <laughs> you'll find out. Yeah. What's it like? Just don't ask my kids, my sure, kids, yes. because they're like, a super cakes has an Amex. No. <laughs> no, no, no. What's it like parenting two girls in their 20s now? I have no idea, because like, <laughs> I don't parent them. I just survive. <laughs> Aren't we all? What would you say is the biggest challenge? I think what's no. been really the biggest challenge is that, um, you know, my youngest daughter graduated, they both graduated later, mm -hmm. because a year later because of COVID. Yeah. So that they would be in a different situation um, normally. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, my youngest, my oldest daughter would have been, you know, in an apartment, you know, when she was 22, but you know, everything has just prolonged and taken a little bit more time. Mm -hmm. And it's been great for me to be able to spend time with them yeah. and really like, you know, be there for them. I think it's also, I think for them, it's nice to have me there, mm -hmm. but they really want to like, you know, hit hit the road sure. and like, you know, kick the nest away. You know, they're really ready to do that and I want them to do that. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just kind of like this like push and pull of, you know, them wanting to stay home and then pushing away and try, wanting to go and do things. Yeah. Like this weekend they're like, you're gonna be in the Hamptons? I'm coming to the Hamptons too. I'm like, no, no, you can't come to the Hamptons. <laughs> oh no, I'm coming. I'm like, no, no, but you can't. I mean, you can, Right. but I'm going with Scott. And they're like, oh. Fine. So then I'm like, okay, now here we go. No, it's, I'm sure it's all a balancing act. Yeah, so it yeah. is. It mm -hmm. is. But it's great. I mean, you know, during COVID, you know, there's I mean, obviously so many horrible things that happened, but there were some really good yeah. things that happened as well. Mm -hmm. And one of those was just being able to, me being able to spend time with my kids mm -hmm. and really spend time with them every yeah. single day and not have distractions. And mm -hmm. it was really just, I mean, it was such a blessing. Um, so, you know, now it's just interesting to see what's going to happen. Sure. I'm sure they're just going to be like, I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> Give me your Amex. Give me your Amex, <laughs> yes. Um, you've created such an, an amazing career for yourself in real estate now, Thank too. You. Do you absolutely love it? And is this like, what you kind of always maybe wanted to do because you're very good at it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you. So no, I, um, you know, g going into real estate was kind of a, you know, bittersweet because my mother um, fell, Ill, uh, fell ill and um, passed away quickly. And, um, you know, my father's older and so she wanted me to sell our family uh, properties mm -hmm. as soon as possible. And so I literally you know, flew to New York mm -hmm. and went to Brooklyn and, you know, begged this guy to let me take the, take it, you know, the, the, the school test. And I was like, yeah. if I pass on Friday, I need to take this exam because I need to do all this stuff. Wow. And he was like, okay. And so like, I was under so much pressure to pass. Sure. Um, and so it was just, you know, it was really, really strenuous. Mm -hmm. And then just getting into the business, everyone's like, oh, million dollar listing, deal flow, cool, big cars, fancy right. clothes. It's not, not like that, like that mm -hmm. at all. I yeah. spent a lot of time cleaning up, you know, people's garbage mm -hmm. and just negotiating. And, you know, I think what's, what's unusual about the real estate industry that we don't know, we don't hear about is it's twofold. On the one hand, mm -hmm. it's all about aesthetics. And then the other hand, it's transaction. And you have to really be able to balance that mm -hmm. or find someone, a team member that can help you balance that. Sure. And I, you know, I think that just from my experience working at L and being a model and traveling, mm -hmm. that I just have a stronger aesthetic. Sure. Uh, and so when I do things like when I stage them or mm -hmm. when I kind of jazz the, the apartments up, like right now I'm, I'm working on a, an apartment um, on Park Avenue. It's a really a spectacular apartment, mm -hmm. but it was older when I got in there, and I was just like, you know what? We're gonna like paint this door black and do mm -hmm. all this stuff, and the owner is like. Whoa. She's like, I don't want to rent this right. apartment. Yeah, I'm like, no, 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 no,
so that's been really great and mm -hmm. really complimentary to me. Uh, and then the transaction business, you know, I did the number one deal during COVID of 42 million, which was Amazing. a really, Congrats. really, thank you. It was mm -hmm. a really big deal. Uh, you know, I have an MBA mm -hmm. with Columbia. And so I just, you know, that all of that just really works well. Good for you. And I think the most important thing about all this stuff is just the the transparency and that clients really trust me. Mm -hmm. You know, they've, they've known me for a long time. They've seen many iterations of mm -hmm. Kelly and they really, really trust me. And so, you know, whether they're buying my, you know, my outerwear line with Paul, Paula Georgia, so whether they're buying, you know, a two million, 17, $42 million apartment mm -hmm. from me, they, they trust me and that's yeah. really, really important to me. Oh, well, that's that's the name of the game. Yeah, you know, they well, it's keep not. Back. Well, they want to keep back. <laughs> it's actually the opposite. Right. But. Well, yeah, but they want to keep back working with you because you right. bring that comfort level to them, which Right, is and to their clients. Yes. I mean, and mm -hmm. I have, you know, ultra high net worth clients who, you know, people are like, they're so rich, they can buy anything. I'm like, they're, it's actually the opposite. Like, mm -hmm. the richer they are, the more discerning they are, and the, obviously the more knowledgeable. Sure. So it, it's easier for me but it's more difficult as well. Yeah, well, you make it look easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am so excited that you are gonna be back on our screens soon. Oh my, oh my God, I cannot wait for Roni Legacy. It like this is like major. the, this is like our Super Bowl. I'm so I, excited. What was it like? I was so excited. <laughs> when, I mean, obviously this idea has been floating around for a while, but when you got that call, what were, you, were you like absolutely 100% sign me up or was there any hesitation? So we first got the call to be on, um, on Legacy, mm -hmm. which was gonna be, you know, however many seasons and filmed in New York. And so, you know, that was something I was like, oh, you know, that would be great because mm -hmm. I could really, this time I could really, really show like what I'm sure. doing, mm -hmm. you know, and bring the ladies into like more of my life because I didn't get to see it last time. Mm -hmm. And I think that was like a disservice to the fans because they were like, how does she make money? What does she do? Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh -huh. um, and so now it's, you know, it was, it, that would have been a really great opportunity. I was really excited about mm -hmm. that. And then that didn't work. And then when they asked us to go to St. Bart's, my daughter had just finished writing this book for Asseline on St. Bart's. And oh, so no. there's like literally every single double page spread is like all these pictures of me from like, from I'm about 17 mm -hmm. to like, you know, last year. Uh, and so I was like, St. Bart's? I'm like, that would be amazing. And it was. It was. It's like, I mean, it's a dream. It's like, you know, it's a fairy tale that's so beautiful. And the women were wild. <laughs> I mean, so wild. Who but really, I mean, it was so. I can't tell you too much right, about it, obviously, but yeah. it was like, it was like, it was a real girls' trip. Yeah, just filmed. Mm -hmm. So like, everyone's like, "What was it like?" I'm like, "Well, you've been on a girls' trip." Like, I, I when the when my fan when the fans asked me, I'm like, "You've been on a girls' trip together." You know, sometimes like one's in a really good mood, sometimes one's in a really bad mood. Sometimes there's hardship. There's sometimes mm -hmm. there's like a dramatic moment. Uh, you know, there was a lot, a lot going on, and there were the emotions were running so high, and yeah. you know, I mean. Like I'm, to get if you can't get along with me, you cannot get along with, with anybody. Anyone. <laughs> it's true. Like, I am the most even-tempered yes. person. I mean, I have my wild moments, uh -huh. but I am so even-tempered, yeah. and so. Um, it was just really interesting to see the women and to see like how they've evolved. Yeah, right. Ramona Singer is so smoking hot. She looks great. She does. Her mm -hmm. face, her body, her mindset is just like on fire. Yeah. I mean, she's just really amazing. Were you nervous at all going back into that setting or and any nerves going in with this particular group of women at all? No, because I love Luann yeah. and I love mm -hmm. Sonia mm -hmm. and like I'd met Dorinda many times sure. before. Um, Kristen Takeman is a really good friend of one of my close friends. Okay. So it was, there was, there was like, common ground which made me feel comfortable plus it was St. Bart's yeah. and I know it so well um, and so you know I just felt really good about being there mm -hmm. and um, it was you know every day was so interesting and uh, you know like on this show you know you see all these other shows and everyone's got makeup on I just was like I'm I am 100% raw and mm -hmm. myself. Like you see me waking up in the morning. I was like, if you guys want to wake up with me in, in a, with the camera, no problem. Mm -hmm. Like I've got mascara underneath my eyes. Like I'm working out. I'm like doing my ice plunge baths. <laughs> like all it. this stuff. And they're like, you have mascara in a scene. I'm like, it's not a scene. It's breakfast, and I'm fine. Like I just want it to be raw. Yes. And I just wanted people to really see me so that they can like be like, okay, she's just. 
I am just like everyone else. Yeah, yeah maybe, I love that. Maybe a little more more disheveled at times than others. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you said it's wild. Who I know you. Wild. I know you can't bring give me too much, but who was the most wild? Who kind of really brought it to the next level? There were like everyone like had their moment, okay. which I think was cool too. And mm -hmm. and um, you know there was some really good stuff that happened and some really bad stuff that happened. Um, you know I think that I think that, like everyone's you know saying like is this Scary Island too? Right. Yeah. You know Scary Island was a totally different situation. Like a lot of you know a lot of the women didn't want to go. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of other you know other parts of the of the narrative that were happening that were like adding to like the fire of the show. Mm -hmm. This was a totally different situation. Yeah. This is like you know, women in their 40s and 50s going on a girls trip with like a lot at stake and a lot of new things happening. I mean, I wasn't engaged when I was on the trip. Yeah. I was single. Mm -hmm. well, I wasn't single, right. I was in, you know, I had a boyfriend, but you know, and then I, a week later I was engaged. Yeah. So a lot of things happened. A lot of things happened. Did Dorinda make it nice? I mean, she's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I love her. Yeah, was I just fun love filming her. with her? I love, mm -hmm. love, love her. I love her. Mm -hmm. She's just so, she's just real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's super protective. Mm -hmm. And she gets into it. And I love that. Like, she will, no matter who it is, if she doesn't, doesn't matter, if she like loves you, she'll go after you. you. Mm -hmm. If she hates you, she'll go after you. And, but it's for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. Like, if you say something that she doesn't like, and you could be her best friend, she'll go after you and tell you, you know, what's going on, which I think is really, really great. Yeah. She's very, very genuine. Mm -hmm. And how did all the, because, you know, when you went down, there was, the word came out that the new Roni was happening. How yeah. did the ladies feel about that? And how do you feel about that? So we all did, uh, we were all at Rock Center together, which mm -hmm. was so fun. I know Uba yeah. really well. Mm -hmm. We've known each other for a long time. Jenna, I've known her for a long time. Um, the other dead ladies, I don't know them. Sure. Um, but, oh, that's not true. I, I, um, I sat next to, Bryn, Bryn mm -hmm. she sat next to me at a fashion show, but I didn't get a chance to really talk sure. to her. Um, and then the other ladies, I don't, I don't really okay. know. But you know, I love Uba and I love Jenna, and I'm excited. You know, it's mm -hmm. like I, you know, I'm part of that, you know, yeah, that the, that tribe. Sure. I mean, it's like mm -hmm. literally been a long. You know, I started in 2009, mm -hmm. and you know, it's been a really, really exciting. You know, um, like there's been so many ebbs and flows. It's been really exciting. Right. Have you been tuning in? I, I I've seen like a couple of clips, okay. but I haven't. I've been like busy watching Love sure. Island. I'm sorry. <laughs> Any advice? It's your fault. Oh, you I'm guys sorry, with I'm all sorry. the Bachelorette, all the Bachelor. <laughs> like I became this like obsessed with like sure. reality TV. Now like I'm all on Love Island and like too hot to handle. Too hot to handle. Uh -huh. like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I tried watching this like last night. I was like, I have to watch a documentary. Mm -hmm. I need to, and I'm like, what am I watching this for? Right. I'm, like I gotta go back to Love Island. <laughs> I haven't gotten into Love Island. Island, but I heard it's addicting. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Any advice for the ladies as they kind of navigate this new chapter of their lives? Um, for a real house for yeah. Ronnie? Um, I mean, just to enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy the process, mm -hmm. good, bad, and ugly. I mean, I think one of the greatest things about being on a reality TV show is that the fans are, they tell you exactly what they like and don't sure. like. Yeah, and that, true. that to me was a, such a blessing because I was like, hey, you don't like this about me? Let's change it. Mm -hmm. um, so that was really good for me. And just for these women, just, you know, to just really listen. Mm -hmm. um, and I think they, I think, I think, I think what happens to us is that we're on a show and people are always asking our advice. And so we think that we're experts in all this advice, sure. but we're really not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not at least. Yeah. Are you <laughs> like, hoping that the legacy this continues like uh, maybe a summer trip every single year? I mean, I definitely feel like we're going to be coming back. Yeah. I think that I think the the um, ultimate girls trip is going to go back on on, uh, on Bravo. It has to. Yeah. There's, there's like there's just there's so there's just so much mm -hmm. um, and it just has to. And yeah. also like all of our kids so it's just like, we're like the gift that keeps on giving. Mm -hmm. Because all of our kids are doing different things. And you know, like now with me, with my, um, you know, my engagement, mm -hmm. and you know, you know, I'm like, my whole narrative is just like its own like sub show. Sure, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Between all the things that, things that I'm doing. Um, so, and like Luann with her cabaret, yeah. and mm -hmm. Sonia selling her townhouse, and with her show, and you know, obviously Dorinda um, with Blue, Blue Stone Stone, Manor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so there's just a lot going yeah. on. Yeah, would you televise the wedding? 
Would I televise the wedding? Um, maybe. Mm -hmm. I would say no to that. Yeah. I would. I would be okay with You'd that. Be okay with that. I mean, I'm really into this whole thing. And maybe you guys, you could tell me if you guys think that I'm like losing my mind again. But I just really am into this like new chapter, and I want to share it with everyone. Mm -hmm. And so, I just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just really, really trying to think out of the box about how that. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Without it being like these Instagram moments mm -hmm. with like rose petals, like something that's really like, I don't know, you know who I am. Yeah. Like I'm always trying to like think of like the next big thing, like, you know, what would that look like? And um, this is a perfect, you know, way for me to do it with you guys. Definitely. What do you think about Bethany and Jill um, reuniting? So my, I was in Europe, I was uh -huh. in Paris. I took my kids to Europe this summer. And my youngest daughter, you know, here she goes, you have to meet her, you guys have to, she should be on the couch with us. She has a lot to say. She was like, mom. <laughs> She's like, um, Jill, Sarah, and, and Bethany talked it through, and they're friends again. I'm like, oh, that's so nice, mm -hmm. and it is so nice. Yeah. And I think for the fans, like, they just like missed that genuine friendship. Mm -hmm. um, I think for them too, you know, they really like connected, and you know, Jill is such a, uh, you know, nurturing human, and for her to not be able to, you know, be a part of Bethany's life, I think was really, really difficult. Yeah. Do you keep in touch with? Both of them? Uh, Jill, I do. Jill. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't really see Bethany. I don't. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't see her that much. Yeah. What are your thoughts on her trying to kind of wanting this reality star union? Have you heard of oh. Bethany? Kind of like she wants like to create this movement where you know reality stars get royalties for you know the shows um, continuing to air and things like that. What do you think about that? I think that's a Chris Jenner thing to handle, <laughs> not Bethany. Right. Like, I, I mean, I, I I admire Bethany for you know her skinny branding, mm -hmm. but I think that we really need to. It's like the right tool for the right job, and sure. it needs to be someone that's like a real powerhouse in that industry to kind of give a framework. Mm -hmm. Um, for that, so um, I'm going to defer to Chris. I love for that. that. This is a job for Chris Jenner. I, I, I think it's like the right tool for the right job. <laughs> I love it. Well, Kelly, I am so thrilled for you. Congratulations! So it's been nice such a pleasure you. catching up. Yes, and you so look great. pretty thank and pink. You. Thank you You're so much. Barbie vibe. My Barbie. Yes, my Barbie vibe. And thank you guys. I'm like I'm, I missed you guys. I know we I missed, missed you too. All of our fun, <laughs> all of our fun travels, all of our uh, reality TV. I'm like before I was like. I don't watch reality TV, yes. and now I'm like, everything. what do you want to know? Let me tell you everything. <laughs> well, I, I can't know. wait for you to come back once uh, Legacy comes on. I know. Yes, it's going to be I so know. good. It's going to be so good. It's going to be wild. Awesome.